September 17th, 2024 at 6 p.m. Uh, roll call. All aldermen are present. Uh, item three, Pledge of Allegiance and silent prayer in lieu of invocation. Item five, election of a common council president due to the resignation of President Veneman from this position. Number four, reading the minutes. You skip four. Sorry. Item number four, reading of the minutes of the previous meeting held on August 20th, 2024. Attachment number one. What are your wishes? I have a motion by Veneman. To approve. To approve the minutes, I have a second by Katna. Any questions, comments? Seeing none, go ahead and cast your ballot. Motion passes, eight A's to zero nays. Now, item five, election of the Common Council President due to the resignation of President Veneman from this position. Uh, take a minute just to, to thank. Alderman Veneman for his um, guidance this last year. Uh, that being said, um, at this time I'm opening the floor to nominations. Anyone nominating another alderman to be president? Oh, Patrick? I'll nominate Alderman Katnaw. All right. We have a nomination for Katnoff from Delaney. Any other nominations? I'd like to nominate Alderman Palmquist. All right. We have a nomination for Palmquist from Penscover. Any other nominations? All right. All right. At this time, I need unanimous consent to close the nominations. Wait, I'm sorry. Before we close, um, Ms. Scanow, do you accept the nomination? Yes. Thank you. Ms. Palmquist, do you accept the nomination? Yes. All right. Thank you. Now I need unanimous consent to close the nominations. Thumbs up, head nod, I have something. <laughs> Good. All right. All right. At this time, everybody has a piece of paper, right, that they can cast their ballot on. Um, so you can go ahead and cast wait, your, wait, wait. hold on. Talk about the, what options do they know? So you want me to do it? Go ahead. So do you want to decide how you want to um, break a tie or what the rules are for this? If you get five votes for one person, are they... Are they nominated? Um, what are your wishes regarding how you want to proceed? Highest number of votes? Majority votes, yep. I, yeah, I'd say majority if there's a tie. Are you okay with a coin flip? Yeah. Okay, see if everybody's okay with that. Is everyone okay with a coin flip breaking a tie? A yes or a no, or you can speak up, speak now, or forever hold your peace. Any Worked objection? For Worked for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it did. Right. <laughs> right. um, Mr. Pollack, did you have uh, something? You well, the add? only question I'm going to say is on the ballots. Uh, 
the alderman have to put their ward number? No, this is a secret ballot. I know, but no, you don't have to put your ward number because well, we don't I'm, record that. Okay, that sounds yep. good. Yep, you just I fill in the last then. name of the person that you want and don't tell me who you are. All right, so we're in agreement that we're taking a vote. Five wins, four to four. We will flip a coin. I'll have to find one. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, to see who wins. Go, all right. Go ahead and uh, cast your ballot and pass it over. One vote for Palmquist. Vote for Palmquist. Vote for Katna. Vote for Palmquist. Vote for Palmquist. Vote for Katna. Vote for Katna. Vote for Palmquist. Palmquist five, Katna three. So Palmquist is, is elected president. <clears throat> Congratulations. Thank you, everybody. Congratulations. Yep. Yep. Item six, consider for confirmation the appointments to various committees, commissions, and boards. See attachment two, please. Following appointments are submitted for your approval. Board of Review, Alex Hewitt, at, residing at 170 3rd Street South, is appointed as a regular member to replace Don Wallach to a term expiring on 5-1-2026. What are your wishes? Move to approve. I have a motion by Veneman to approve. I have a second by Penscover. Any questions, comments, concerns? Seeing none, go ahead and cast your ballot. Motion passes, eight A's to zero nays. Item seven, consider a resolution that the city of Wisconsin Rapids be exempt from the payment of any county library tax as provided in section 43.642B, Wisconsin statutes, uh, see item three. What are your wishes? Hmm? Mr. Katna. Is this for 2025 or a payment for 2024? Yes. Yes, sorry, it is for 2025. Okay, so I guess my understanding is then tonight we kind of decide whether we want to, as in the past it's been talked, county library or city library if we opted tonight to not pay or be exempt from the county library tax that would mean that we plan to continue city library is my understanding correct basically what this is doing is that um, if you approve this tonight is that city taxpayers would be exempt from paying the cowboy the county library tax because the county levies of support for for the public libraries in the county and by passing this and, and basically um, they would be exempt from that the caveat is is obviously there's a minimum appropriation that's needed from the city and that amount is five hundred one thousand eight forty three 
in the 2024 budget, the city's appropriation for the library is a million eighty-seven thousand and some change. So basically, by passing this, city taxpayers would not have to pay towards that county library tax. Questions, comments? Most motion to approve the resolution that the city of Wisconsin Rapids be exempted from the payment of any county library tax. I got a motion by Austin. Seconded by Palmquist. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Seeing none, go ahead and cast your ballot. Motion passes, eight A's to zero nays. Consider for adoption the actions of the Planning Commission. Item eight, consider for adoption the actions of the Planning Commission at its meeting held on September 9th, 2024. Ms. Kearns. Thank you, Mayor. The Planning Commission met at 4 p.m. on September 9th in the Council Chambers. A quorum of members was present along with uh, a list of others in attendance available at the clerk's office or community development. The meeting was called to order at 4.01 p.m. Item one was the approval of the report from August 5th. Motion by Maroots to approve the report, second by Tau. That motion carried 4-0. Item two was a, a request from David Zilke for a special exception for a chain link trash enclosure in a commercial zoning district at 2240 8th Street South. Staff provided a summary of the report and recommended approval with conditions. Conversation took place amongst the commissioners to which staff responded. Um, some of the conversation related to other projects that have been approved previously and um, a few of the conditions. There was a motion by Goudreau to approve the, co the request omitting conditions one and two in the staff report relating to landscaping requirements. A second by Tao. That motion carried 4 0. Item three was a request by BNBD Properties LLC for site plan review to per perform site improvements at 1860, 1848, 1852, and 1900 8th Street. Staff provided a summary of the request, recommending, recommending approval with conditions as outlined. Uh, representatives from uh, BNBD property spoke in favor of the request. The commission discussed um, uh, certain aspects of the project to which staff also notified that a Zoning Board of Appeals variance request was necessary by the applicant and the um, staff was recommending that that be added as a condition. There was a motion by Goudreau to approve the request for site plan review subject to uh, the conditions outlined in the staff report, including that a variance uh, be granted by the Board of Appeals. Second by Maroots, that motion carried 4-0. Item four was a request from the Community Development Department to uh, discuss only uh, secondary review requirements within the zoning code for uses. Staff provided a review of the request Commissioners expressed their support for the idea of future zoning code amendments related to secondary review processes for uses. No action was taken. Item five was adjournment. There was a motion by Tau to adjourn the meeting, second by Goudreau. That motion carried 4 0, and the meeting was adjourned at 4 50 p.m. I submit this for your review and approval. Thank you. Thank you. What are your wishes? Move to approve. I get a motion by Veneman to approve, seconded by Penscover. I'd like to hold out four. All right. Uh, holding out item four, Mr. Katna, uh, what are your wishes with the remainder of the minutes? I'm sorry. Any to it out? Oh, I'm sorry. Any objection to holding it out? Okay. Seeing none, what are your wishes with the remainder of the minutes? 
All right. Uh, sorry. We already got a motion and a second uh, with the remainder. Go ahead and cast your ballot. Go ahead and cast your ballot. All right. Motion passes. Eight A's, zero nays to pass the remainder of the minutes holding out item four. Mr. Catano. Yeah, I just wanted to revisit this and uh, keep it out for discussion here at council. So those who are there, if they want to, I was not, but if they want to give uh, a synopsis <coughs> of what happened and, and what the thoughts were and why the action was or wasn't taken. Yeah, I think it's appropriate to kind of give a rundown so that we know what's going on with this one uh, so everybody's on the same page. Thank you, Mr. Kern. Uh, so there's been some requests from uh, some of you um, in the, the mayor in regards to simplifying our ordinance. Uh, so I had brought forth a request <laughs> back in 2020 to do so. There's uh, a lot of secondary review standards at the plan commission level where a permitted use, such as a restaurant, <laughs> still has to go to plan commission for that secondary review for uh, architectural standards, site plan review, uh, lighting review, access, uh, so ingress, egress, landscaping. Um, and then plan commission, obviously, is that sec secondary review body. However, oftentimes, um, that secondary review can be detrimental to businesses especially those uh, at this time of the year in the fall when they're butting up against the winter months and they're looking to try to fast track some of these projects. And frankly, I think there are somewhere, if it's a permitted use uh, in, a, in a, you know, a restaurant in a commercial district, we're expecting that restaurants will obviously be located in that district. That's why we zone that property as B2. Um, that if it's permitted that the staff review is enough um, and the secondary review is not necessarily required at the plan commission level. So I had provided, uh, so we introduced this item for discussion only. Uh, we did not meet the cutoff to take action here, uh, but I think as discussion, it's, it's appropriate. Um, so I, again, uh, pulled out a 2020 memo that I had wrote to simplify a lot of the secondary review requirements for about 30, or about 40, uh, 40 different uses meaning that there would no longer be secondary review for those uses. The review would happen internally. In addition to that, I added to the memo that we'd be looking at also um, clarifying some of the uh, parking lot reconstruction requirements and parking lot paving requirements moving forward. And uh, again, just to simplify the process for contractors and developers looking to develop in the community and kind of reduce some of that red tape having those secondary review standards. So the method I've provided is again just to remove these uh, these 40 to 50 or so uses from that secondary review and then uh, I'll come back with an ordinance amendment next month which would be October to have plan commission and council take action on that. Thank you. Questions, comments? Oh, sorry. So no action was taken at Planning Commission. Would it be appropriate, or do we have the authority to take action tonight to move this along? It was on the agenda, and it does come to Council. Um, I did pull it out, so. You, you cannot take action tonight because uh, an ordinance amendment of the zoning code requires a public hearing notice. Uh, in the paper, two insertions as well as a public hearing, and we, we, we didn't meet the deadline for September, so it'll come back in October to meet that statutory notice requirement. So based on that, this is up to the Planning Commission to first approve and then come to Council for another approval. It wouldn't be something that we could take up at Legislative. Uh, no, nope. so Planning Commission oversees the zoning ordinance under Wisconsin State statute, so they are the recommending body for changes to that ordinance, and then Council takes action on their recommendation. Okay. I think we can dispose of this then. 
Yeah, any other questions or comments? All right, just thank you, Mr. Kearns. I just want everybody to be up to speed on what we were talking about here. Um, but yes, at this time, we will move forward. Thank you. Consider for uh, item nine, consider for adoption the actions of the standing committees of the Common Council as follows. Uh, item A, Finance and Property Committee meeting held on September 10th, 2024. And Finance and Property Committee meeting held on September 17th, 2024. Actually, we'll do one at a time. Yep. Go ahead, Mr. Scatna. Thank you. Finance and Property Committee met at 5 p.m. on Tuesday, September 10th in the first floor conference room at City Hall. Item one was called to order. Uh, Chairperson Catnaw called a meeting order at 5 p.m. Item two, consider for approval the acceptance of a Legacy Foundation Central Wisconsin grant in the amount of 360000 for the Municipal Zoo and approval to proceed with bids for improvements to the Municipal Zoo, including a river otter exhibit. ADA compliant playground equipment and insulating Helen's house to make it suitable for year round activities. It was moved by Veneman, seconded by Pollock to approve the acceptance of the Legacy Foundation Central Wisconsin grant in the amount of 360000 for the Municipal Zoo and to approve proceeding with bids for improvements to the Municipal Zoo, including a river otter exhibit, ADA compliant playground equipment and insulating Helen's house to make it suitable for your year-round activities. Motion carried 3-0. Item three, consider for approval upgrading Wisconsin Rapids community media public access channel equipment, including upgrades necessary to make Wisconsin Rapids community media accessible and ADA compliant. It was moved by Katnaw, seconded by Veneman, to approve a proposal by Spectrum Enterprise to upgrade Wisconsin Rapids community media public access channel equipment including upgrades necessary to make community media accessible and ADA compliant in the amount of $17,696 using funds from the WRCM reserve account. Motion carried 3-0. Item 4, consider for approval upgrading studio equipment for the Wisconsin Rapids community media. It was moved by Veneman, seconded by Pollock, to approve a proposal from Uniset LLC to upgrade studio equipment for Wisconsin Rapids community media in the amount of $17,230.50, with $730 to be reimbursed to the city by the city of Marshfield for their shared portion for a total cost to the city of $16,500.50 using funds from the WRCM reserve account. Motion carried 3-0. <clears throat> Item 5, consider for approval a resolution of support for the city's application for funding from the Railroad Crossing Elimination Planning Grant. It's moved by Veneman, seconded by Pollock, to approve a resolution of support for the city's application for funding from the Railroad Crossing Elimination Planning Grant. Motion carried 2-1, with Catnall voting in the negative. Item 6, consider for approval budget amendment number 2. It was moved by Pollock, seconded by Veneman, to approve budget amendment number 2. Motion carried 3-0. Item 7, audit of the bills. It was moved by Pollock, seconded by Veneman, to approve check numbers 22765 to 23180 for a total of $7,051,127.86. Motion carried 3-0. Item 8, set to the next meeting date. The next regular meeting of the Finance and Property Committee is scheduled for Tuesday, October 1st, 2024, at 5 p.m. Item 9. In open session, the committee may vote to go into closed session under Section 19.85, Para 1, Para E of the Wisconsin Statute, which reads deliberating or negotiating the purchase of public properties or investing in public funds or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. Moved by Veneman, seconded by Pollock to go into closed session. Roll call vote was taken. All members voted in the affirmative. Motion carried 3-0, and the committee went into closed session. In closed session, the committee considered proposals for replacing outdated printers and implementing managed print services for the city. Item 10, the committee returned to open session. is moved by Catnaw, seconded by Veneman to return to open session. Motion carried 3-0, and the committee returned to open session. Item 11, consider for approval of vendor for replacement of outdated printers and managed print services for the city. is moved by Catnaw, seconded by Veneman. 
to approve a proposal from E.O. Johnson in the amount of $48,999.27 for the replacement of outdated printers and managed print services for the city. Motion carried 3-0. Item 12 was adjournment. Meeting adjourned at 5.50 p.m. And with that, I make a motion to approve these minutes. Okay. We want to hold out the closed session item because we're holding it in closed session at the end. Um, if if <laughs> others find it necessary, I, I think that on the next one, that one certainly. I mean, you're talking about the printers? Yeah, it's a closed session item at the end. So if you want, you can approve without without approving that one because you can consider that in close. It's an item on the agenda at the end, on the council agenda. Yeah, I mean, I'll submit with approval as is um, if anybody okay. wants to hold that out to talk about it at the end. They can, but my motion will stand. I just said, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have anything to hold up, but I just wanted to um, publicly acknowledge and thank um, the city of Wisconsin Rapids. Thanks Legacy Foundation for the um, the grant for the zoo and um, thank Mr. Klingforth working hard on that grant and getting it. So that was a big, big coup for the city. So I just wanted to let it, re you know, say in public how lucky we are to have the Legacy Foundation in this town. And I'm um, really thanking for it because I think it's pretty darn cool. So that's about it. Thanks. Thank you. All right. We have a motion. You want to hit your button? Motion by Cat now. And we are not holding anything out as of yet. Is are there any? I need a second. Okay, I got a second from Veneman. Any other questions or comments, concerns? Seeing none, go ahead and cast your ballot. Motion passes seven A's to one abstention. Or no A's and one abstention. All right, item B, Finance and Property Committee held on September 17th, 2024. Mr. Catnow. Finance and Property Committee met at 5.03 p.m. on Tuesday, September 17th in Council Chambers at City Hall. All members of the Finance and Property Committee were present except Alderperson Delaney. Item 1, call to order. Chairperson Kent, I'll call the meeting to order at 5.03 p.m. Item 2, an open session. The committee may vote to go into closed session under Section 19.85, Pair 1, Pair E, the Wisconsin Statute, which reads deliberating or negotiating the purchase of public properties, the investing of public funds, or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. It was moved by Veneman, seconded by Catnow to go into closed session. Roll call vote was taken. All members voted in the affirmative. Motion carried 2 0, and the committee went into closed session. Uh, in closed session, the committee considered the following proposals. Implementation of C-Click Fix at a cost of $6,151.37 for the first year and the reoccurring annual payment structure as outlined in the proposal provided. B, for the initial one-time cost of CP pay for $3,285 and the $1,785 annual reoccurring fee. C, for the implementation of AMM Select Pro and Live Meeting Management System from Civic Plus at a cost of $8,750 for the initial year and the reoccurring annual amount of $8,700 for ongoing maintenance and support. Item 3, the committee returned to open session. It was moved by Catnaw, seconded by Veneman. The motion carried 2-0. Item 4, consider for approval the following proposals. Um, Implementation of C-Click Fix at a cost of $6,151.37 for the first year. Reoccurring annual payment structure is outlined in the proposal provided. No action was taken. B, for the initial one-time cost of CP pay of $3,000 and the $1,785 annual reoccurring fee. 
As moved by Veneman, seconded by Cantonhart to approve the initial one-time cost of CP pay for the noted amounts. C, for the implementation of AMM Select Pro and Live Media Management System from Civic Plus at a cost of 8750 for the initial year and the reoccurring annual amount of 8700 for ongoing maintenance and support. It was moved by Veneman, seconded by Catnaw, to approve the implementation of AMM Select Pro and Live Meeting Manager for the noted amounts. Motion carried 2 0. Item 5, adjournment. It was moved by Veneman, seconded by Catnaw, to adjourn. Motion carried 2 0, and the meeting adjourned at 5 40 p.m. And with that, I motion these minutes for approval. All right, I got a motion by Catnaw to approve the minutes. Mr. Veneman? Um. If I understand, we can hold out item 4A to discuss and um, do and generate something. Do, do we need to discuss that in closed session then? Yeah, so I would, yeah, I would, I would like to hold out item 4A to be discussed in closed session. All right. 4A being held out to be discussed in closed session by Mr. Veneman. Any other? I need a second. I have a second by Mr. Austin. Questions, comments, concerns? Seeing none, go ahead and cast your ballot. Motion passes, eight A's to zero nays. All right. Item C, Public Works Committee meeting held on September 5th, 2024. Mr. Austin. Thank you, Mayor. The Public Works Committee met on Thursday, September 5th in Council Chambers. All members were present. Item 1, we called the meeting to order at 5 p.m. Item 2, we reviewed the Engineering and Street De Department monthly activity report. Item 3, review and consider modifying the parking along Dale Street between 6th Street South and East Cul-de-Sac and 6th Street South between Dale Street and Dewey Street. The current parking situation near the intersection of 6th Street South and Dale Street was discussed. Motion by Palmquist, second by Austin, to prohibit parking from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. along the north and south sides of Dale Street from 6th Street South to 171 feet east, as well as the east side of 6th Street South from Dale Street to 81 feet north. That motion carried. Item 4, review the intersection study at Rosewood Ave and 15th Place South. The interse intersection study was reviewed due to safety concerns at the intersection. Uh, the engineering department's findings were presented. No uh, recommended additional signing was advised, and no action was taken. Item 5, review the referral list. The re referral list was review reviewed, mo uh, removing item 10 with request from Alderperson Pollock to reinstate item 9 to review installation of stop signs at intersection of Apricot Street and 14th Street North. Uh, item 6, set the next meeting date. It was set for October 3rd at 5 p.m., and we adjourned at 5.33 p.m., and that concludes the report from the Public Works Committee. All right, I just want to make note that on item 3, that this is an ordinance. There's an ordinance in the packet for this item, so, so approval is approval of the ordinance, so you're aware we're changing the ordinance. All right, that being said, what are your wishes? Mr. Katna. That's approval of an ordinance specific to the parking along only Dale and 6th Street South in the east called the sack, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, specific to item three, yep. Uh, with that, I'll make a motion to approve the Public Works Committee meeting minutes. I got a motion by Katna to improve the minutes. I got a second by Penscover. Any questions, comments, concerns? Seeing none, go ahead and cast your ballot. Motion passes, eight A's, zero nays. Item D, Human Resource Committee meeting held on September 5th, 2024, Mr. Delaney. Wisconsin Rapids. Human Resources Committee held a meeting on Thursday, September 5th, 2024, at 4 p.m. in the Common Council Chambers. 
at City Hall. All the persons Delaney, Pollock, and Pluis were present. Also present were Mayor Zacker, Human Resources Manager Ryan Hartman, and Fire Chief Todd Eckes. Item one was called to order. Chairperson Delaney called the meeting to order at 4 p.m. Discuss and consider for approval a request from Fire Chief. Oh, item two, sorry. Discuss and consider for approval a request from Fire Chief Eckes to allow a battalion chief to be appointed to the vacant deputy chief position as no d division chiefs currently qualify for the de deputy chief position. <coughs> this will allow appointment of a battalion chief as deputy chief for this vacancy only with a recommended stipend additional compensation of $5,300 per year for a battalion chief so appointed. And there was an attachment. <coughs> Motion by Delaney to approve a request from Fire Chief Eckes to approve the change in job description that in the event that a division chief is not qualified and a battalion chief meets the identified, identified qualifications, the battalion chief can be named <coughs> deputy chief. Motion died on the floor for lack of second. No other motions regarding the item were made. Item three was adjournment. Motion by Delaney, second by Pluis to adjourn. Motion carried three to zero. Meeting adjourned at 4.52 p.m. What are your wishes? I'll make a motion to approve the Human Resource Committee minute. We're just uh, just making a clarification here um, with with uh, item two. There will be there will need to be a motion in order to advance this item. It came out of the committee without a recommendation. So, and Alderperson Katnaw's um, motion was to approve as is, just to clarify. Okay. So no action on two. Uh, so I have a motion by Katna, seconded by Pollock. Any other questions or comments? Seeing none, go ahead and cast your ballot. Motion passes seven A's to one nay. Item E, Committee of the Whole meeting held on August 27, 2024. Mr. Vanderman? A meeting of the committee, <coughs> meeting of the Committee of the Whole was held in Council Chambers on uh, Tuesday, August 27th. All other persons were present. Alder person Austin attended by a video, audio conferencing, and also present were Mayor Zacker, City Attorney Schill, Human Resources Manager Hartman, Finance Director DeSorcy, and City Clerk Jennifer Gossick. Um, Council President called the meeting to order. Veneman called the meeting to order at 2602. Um, all older persons were present. Alder person Austin attended via audio conferencing. Um, item three, in open session, the committee may vote to go into closed session under section 19.85, para one, para e. <clears throat> excuse me, of the Wisconsin statutes, which reads, deliberating or negotiating the purchasing of public properties, the investing of public funds, or conducting other sp public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. It was m moved by Penscover, seconded by Katnaw to go into closed session. Roll call was taken. All, all members voted in the affirmative. A motion carried, eight A's and zero nays, and the committee went into closed session. In closed session, the committee will discuss preliminary strategy, strategies for negotiations regarding successor la labor agreements with WRPPA and IAFF. In closed session, the committee discussed preliminary strategies for negotiations regarding the successor labor agreements with WRPPA and IAFF. No action was taken on this item. In closed session, <coughs> the committee will discuss strategies regarding the 
terms of renewals or extensions of emergency service contracts with surrounding municipalities. In closed session, this, the committee discussed strategies regarding the terms of renewals or extensions of emergency service agreement with surrounding mis municipalities. No action was taken on this item. The committee will adjourn in closed session. It was moved by Penscover, seconded by Veneman to adjourn. Motion carried, eight A's and zero nays, and the meeting adjourned at 8.09 p.m. Um, with that, I move to approve the minutes from the Committee of the Whole. All right, I got a motion by Veneman to approve the minutes. I got a second by Austin. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Seeing none, go ahead and cast your ballot. Motion passes, eight A's to zero nays. Thank you. Item 10, reports of other committees, commissions, boards, and department reports are placed on file. I encourage everyone to read them at your earliest convenience and reach out to anybody in the departments that uh, if you have questions to talk with them about and learn as much as you can. Thank you. Item 11, referrals to committees. Ms. Gossett. I have one referral from Alderperson Palmquist regarding the ordinance regarding chickens. All right, thank you. Item 12, an open session. Count, the council may go into closed session under section 19.851E of the Wisconsin statutes, which reads deliberating or negotiating purchasing of public properties, the investing of public funds, or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining resources require a closed session. In closed session, the council will consider proposal for replacing outdated printers and into that's okay, I didn't catch that either. So item 12 has been basically deleted or removed because we've already concluded business in previous minutes. So moving on to item 15, in open session, the council may go into closed session under section 19.851E of the Wisconsin statutes, which reads deliberately. Deliberating or negotiating the purchasing of public properties, the investing of public funds, or conducting of other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. In section 19.851G, Wisconsin statutes, which reads conferring with legal counsel for the governmental body who is rendering oral or written advice concerning strategy to be adopted by the body with the respect to litigation in which it is or is likely to become involved. In closed session, the council will discuss a mediated wastewater services settlement agreement with the village of Biren. What are your wishes? Um, ex excuse me. I think we should do the um, the finance uh, item first because uh, we will end up adjourning in closed session on the on this might matter. Didn't you uh, hold out? No, that was finance. Not, um, no, we, that one was September not held out. Hold on, we did. Uh, yeah, sorry. for a. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Item number four. Thank All you, right. Sue. So I would I would probably do that one so that then people will need to go back into open for that and then you could adjourn and close. Just a suggestion. All right, okay. so with that, I could read uh, item 12 again with putting this in there and taking the other one out. Uh, right, or we'll read it right from the finance agenda from September 17. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's just the one exemption for competitive oh, negotiating. See. It's not the uh, I see what you're the saying. attorney one. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so before we go to item 15, I'm going back to the Finance and Property Committee meeting held on September 17, 2024. Item 2A, in open session, the committee will vote to go into closed session under Section 19.851E of the Wisconsin Statutes, which reads, deliberating or negotiating the purchasing of public properties, the investing of public funds, or conducting of other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. In closed session, the committee will consider the following proposals. Item A, for implementation of C-Click Fix at a cost of $6,151.37 for the first year and the reoccurring annual payment structure as outlined in the proposal provided. What are your wishes? 
Motion to move to closed session. I got a motion by Austin, second by Veneman to move into closed session. Go ahead and cast your ballots. Motion passes, eight A's and zero nays. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. All right. Consider for approval. We're back in open session. Okay. So I'm going to call it item 14, even though I guess it's not. Um, consider for approval. Hold on. Make sure we got Joe back in there and this goes for what? Tyler, can you? Go back. Okay. Good to go. All right. In op back in open session. Consider for approval the implementation of C click fix at a cost of six thousand one five one point three seven for the first year and reoccurring annual payment structure as outlined in the proposal provided. What are your wishes? Is that motion is dead. Okay. All right. Moving on to item 15. In open session, the council may vote to go into closed session under, se go under section 19.851E of Wisconsin statutes which reads deliberating or negotiating the purchasing of public properties the investing of public funds or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session in section 19.851 g wisconsin statutes which reads conferring with legal counsel for the governmental body who is rendering oral or written advice concerning strategy to be adopted by the body with respect to the litigation in which it is or is likely to become involved. In closed session, the council will discuss a mediated wastewater services agreement, settlement agreement with the village of Beeren. What are your wishes? I get a motion by Plewis to go into closed session, seconded by Austin. All those in favor, or go ahead and cast your ballots. Eight A's to zero nays, motion passes. We are now in closed session.